Hi guys, my name is Ryan Seister of Veteran Drone Services and Best Boy Ag. We're going to talk about my first impressions and kind of what I've seen with the DJI Agris T50. Um, from a visual standpoint, looking at it initially, um, I like the bigger, beefier ESCs for the electronic speed controls. I feel like that's going to help dissipate some heat, kind of help keep them from overheating. And uh, I think that's going to be an advantage. Um, I really like the four nozzle configuration and, and the new improved pumps. I like the fact that we can go, we tried to force the T40 to do low volume stuff instead of just ultra low volume, but I really like the, the looks and, and performance that I think we're going to get from a low volume standpoint out of the DJI Agris T50. The four nozzle configuration, the improved pump speeds is really going to lend its hand to a whole nother range of markets that we maybe weren't able to affect or we weren't able to do as good of a job as we'd like to because of our flow volume. Um, I do like the uh, ease of access to, to the circuitry board in there from a technician standpoint. I like the fact that I can easily get in there to all of the wiring and cabling uh, without having to remove the entire full front or back shells. Um, I like the fact that we can just kind of open that door and, and access all that stuff. It's a lot easier um, to, to access the, the graphic user interface to use our DJI Assistant 2MG app when we need to. Uh, if we need to force firmware updates, that's real handy to have. Um, and, and overall, the structural integrity seems to be the rigidity that we've come to, to, to think and, and enjoy with the T40. So thankfully, it, it stayed with its rigid, rugged, rigid structure. Um, it seems like it's going to be pretty durable still. Uh, I, I still believe it's one of the more durable drones on the market as far as, you know, how much damage and carnage does happen in, in, in a crash. Because it, it's whether it's vehicles, drones, helicopters, airplanes, flying kites, crashes are going to happen. It, it's a part of it. Tractors, planters, ground rig sprayers, it's going to happen. So when it does, what's, what's that cost look like? And I think... Um, DJI has done a pretty good job with maintaining enough parts commonality and its continued improvements on the rugged, um, rigid structure that I think it's still going to lead its hand to being the most durable drone on the market as well. Got a few hundred acres on it now, and I really like the way it moves. It, it takes off from its home point and gets out and gets to work much smoother. Um, a few firmware versions go with the T40. We saw a vast improvement in its operability and it's smoothing out the corners and it's rotating when it's taken off and coming to its home point. Um, and we were very pleased with that. I believe this initial software push on the T50 is even better of an improvement than we had before with the T40's upgrade in firmware. Um, it, it really takes off and, and gets up and going to its start point very rapidly. Um, it's smooth turns and coming in and, and compounding inputs are, are really smoothing some things out and it's saving some of that time in takeoff and landing, which is where we all know we lose money at. So efficiency on the ground is the same as it was with the T40, uh, but what the drone is doing in getting to the ground and leaving the ground where, where I've noticed a, a good increase. So one of the biggest improvements that I like with the T50 as a custom applicator that sprays a lot of specialty crops, primarily tobacco, it requires a five gallon to the acre minimum rate. Well, before with the T40, I'd have to slow down so far that my swath width was really getting narrow, so my efficiency was very difficult. So I was having to charge more for that. Now with the T50, I'm able to cover the same number of acres an hour at a five gallon to the rate as I can at a three gallon to the acre rate because the pumps will keep up. So one of the biggest improvements I would say that DJI has done with the, the Agris T50 has been the improving the ergonomics of the impellers and improving the capabilities of the pumps. Again, when you go from a two nozzle configuration that is now you know, 4.23 gallons per minute, when I put on those four nozzles and I can get 6.34 gallons per minute, which is double the 3.17 that we could maximum with the T40, we can really start doing some low volume applications on many of your specialty crops. I know a lot of t potatoes take a larger gallon per acre. Many of your, you know, cotton takes a lot. There's several other crops out there besides fungicide on corn and spraying beans 
that need a larger volume that now we can really reach out and, and give a good application to those customers because of the improvement.